A key negotiating body of the Diplomatic Conference for Visually Impaired Persons, which is meeting in Marrakesh under WIPO's auspices, agreed late in the evening on June 25th on the substantive provisions of a treaty. Tonight, the final negotiations took place on a proposed text for the Treaty for the Blind, Visually Impaired, and Print Disabled that will provide for cross-border transfer of accessible format works as well as national exceptions to benefit the blind and visually impaired by providing more books and access to printed materials. WIPO Director General Francis Gurry welcomed this important development in the history of the international copyright system, as did representatives of the blind community. Main Committee 1 of the Diplomatic Conference has just adopted the substantive clauses of the treaty and that now paves the way for the whole diplomatic conference meeting in plenary to adopt the treaty. So effectively agreement has been reached on a new treaty which is going to improve access to published works uh, for persons who are blind, visually impaired and print disabled. It's a great result, it's a wonderful outcome uh, and there has been really uh, tremendous cooperation amongst all the delegations to enable us to reach this point of total agreement. It's not only did we get a treaty, but we got a good treaty, uh, which arbitrates well between all of the various interests that surround public publication and visual impairment. Uh, and so it's a very good balance that has been achieved by the negotiators. Governments, please ratify the convention, the treaty and implement it as a matter of urgency. It will make a huge difference in the lives of persons who are blind um, or have a print disability. Something we have worked for for more than 30 years and particularly over the last seven or years with um, WIPO at SCCR, to see it come to fruition is pretty amazing. This creates the opportunity for truly addressing the book famine. This is going to make a big difference. And this is the first time ever in international history that an, in, you know, an international agreement has concentrated on the needs of blind people. And this is a tremendous victory for us, not only symbolically, but in a practical, real sense. This will make a difference. What happens now? On Wednesday, negotiators will work on ensuring that the six language versions of the treaty are properly aligned. On Thursday, it is sent to the plenary for adoption. It is then open for signature on Friday.